This is the Malaysian state of Sarawak, vast, rich in resources, and home to many indigenous groups. But its future hangs in the balance, under threat from certain businessmen and politicians. Yeah, they are the one that issues this license. Of course, it's from the CM's directive, but I can speak to the CM very quickly. Can you? Yes. And do you think he will agree to it? Yeah. Oh, he was the one who said that. Okay. Yeah. He's my cousin. So. <laughs> this footage was shot secretly by an investigator for Global Witness, posing as an investor. The women in the video are cousins of Abdul Taib Mahmud, Sarawak's chief minister and daughters of his predecessor. His portfolio includes land allocation. In 2011, he gave his cousins 5,000 hectares of land for a nominal sum of $300,000. Having secured agriculture and timber licenses, they were trying to sell it a year later for more than $16 million. We visited an indigenous community who live in the area. They were shocked to find out what was going on. We will fight on at all costs. We let them take timber in the past. We had no idea they were planning to take our land. Indigenous people have special rights over much of the land in Sarawak, but there's scant regard for those rights. Here, close to a World Heritage site, sits another piece of land, 32,000 hectares, estimated value $76 million. The chief minister is implicated in another video for indirectly soliciting a kickback, likely worth millions of dollars, in return for issuing a concession over the land, land that many indigenous people regard as theirs. We know it's the chief minister who gives out licenses to companies. He lives, the rest of us suffer. We have no land to farm. Our rivers have become muddy. In the last 30 years, Sarawak has become one of the largest exporters of tropical timber. Taib Mahmud has had the good fortune of ruling one of the richest states in Malaysia. But that wealth has not been seen or felt by many people in Sarawak, some of whom remain the poorest in the country. Taib did not respond to Al Jazeera's request for an interview. Malaysian anti-graft officials say they're investigating Taib, but have declined to comment on the case. Taib's critics say that's testimony to the power he wields, a power that many believe comes at their expense. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Sarawak, Malaysia. Experts from around the world are gathering in Cambodia to discuss 